I think is the, the biggest competition for football in the world. Club football is uh, the most prestigious one, so um, yeah, in that sense, it's the biggest. Para mí, la Champions League es, es muy importante. Eh, bueno, eh, las veces que me tocó jugar, traté de dar lo, lo mejor y. It's just a feeling that you know, maybe we're going to do it this time, maybe we're going to get there. Es la competición más importante del mundo y bueno, ojalá que que podamos eh, personalmente y este año poder llegar lo más lejos posible. Just 90 minutes of play separates Manchester City from a first ever Champions League semi-final as they face Paris Saint-Germain in the quarter-final second leg at the Etihad tonight. It was a very nervy game, obviously the first leg was 2-2, so one goal either way was going to settle it. And it was heading towards nil-nil, it was the last 15 minutes. And you could feel the excitement starting to build. There was a little interplay, and I think uh, Fernando had the ball. He laid it off to Kevin De Bruyne, and he took a step or two to his right, then unleashed this wonderful curling shot into the net. Yeah, I'm just happy. <laughs> you, you try to hit it as clean as possible, and if it goes in, it is... Uh, very good. Obviously, it was a big game. We needed to win that one. And uh, the whole place just went wild. Jorginho for De Bruyne. De Bruyne shot! De Bruyne scores! City take the lead at the Etihad. It's Kevin De Bruyne once again. It was an electric feeling, I think, in the stadium from all the City fans. It was, oh, it was brilliant. I think it just took us to that next level, beating PSG, getting into the semi-finals of the Champions League against Real Madrid. Um, and it sort of showed the reasons why we brought players like Kevin De Bruyne into the club who can change a game in a second. For me, it's playing semi-final. Uh, it's the further, furthest that I've been in, uh, in the Champions League. So obviously it's something that I want to win in the future. And um, yeah, hopefully we can achieve that. A Manchester City side whose Champions League hopes hang by a thread, welcome up by a Munich side already through to the knockout stages in a huge fixture for the Blues. I feel like in the Champions League, um, the player that I really like to watch the most would be Aguero, whether it's his hat tricks or his last minute winners, and just sort of get excited, you know, maybe again this time he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna score for us again and we're gonna get that last minute last minute victory like we have in the past. Bueno, eh, la verdad que eh, hacer Catri en una Champions es muy 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 lindo, que bueno, quedará siempre eh, en el recuerdo y me acuerdo de ese Catri contra el Bayern Muni, que creo que fue uno de los más lindos Catri que, que he hecho en Champions League, ¿no? Sorry Pep, we um we, we got that one off you. Bueno, eh, siempre Es muy lindo marcar en Champions League y bueno, sobre todo estar ahí en, en, en la historia de, 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 de los históricos que hacen goles en la Champions, así que ojalá que, que pueda seguir marcando más y, y bueno, seguir, seguir creciendo a nivel de, de goles en la Champions League. ¿no? It's taken on by Aguero. Is this goal number 178? It is the new outright top goal scorer in Manchester City history. It's Sergio Aguero! He's always getting goals in the Champions League for us. On that particular stage, just proves what a world-class player he is. Obviously, you need the best players to win the Champions League, and I think Sergio Aguero is one of the best strikers in the world, and he gives us every chance of winning any football game. Just to get to sort of the, the group stages at one point for us was um, was a big achievement, but now I think you know we've got the team, um, we've got the manager this time, we've you know we've really got everything behind us to sort of get there, and I think I think we're going to do it.